The miter saw isn't a requirement for cutting off the PVC pipe, but I have it. Just for the sake of information, this is a Stanley 358. Bought it at an uh, antique store for 30 bucks. This is a Langdon miter saw made by Miller Falls. Has a Distant and Sons logo on the medallion. I do not have a piece of 2x6 the size that I would like. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to double up, laminate two pieces of 1x12 together, do that I'm just gonna strike this one off with this uh, D8 eight-point saw My intention is to drill two holes with this uh, auger bit and then set two pipes in there so that I can have two different batches going at the same time. This will give it a nice stable base. I can set it on a shelf over out of the way and go to town with it. So what I need to do comes out to two inches .7 2.760 inches. Just about ten thousandths over three quarters. This adjustable auger bit has a scale on it. So William A. Clark cast steel. I haven't sharpened it, so I think I'm going to have to touch it up with a file because it's uh, kind of dull. That'll take a couple minutes.
little bit more to go. I'm filing the spur on the inside. Because if I file it on the outside, I'm reducing the diameter that the spur cuts and making it so that the blade has to wedge itself down into the hole. That's a surefire way to make this thing strip out the pilot thread. Some of you have commented about why do I always sharpen auger bits? I have a pile of them in the two sharpen bin. And I decided the only way to really get that done because standing here filing auger bits is boring. And I don't want to do it as a steady diet. So I decided the best thing for me to do would be to just every time I need an auger bit, pick one out of the dull bin and sharpen it. That way I end up with sharpened auger bits and if I'm in a hurry and need the part right away I can always go to the sharp ones and use one of those. But otherwise this way I end up sharpening all the auger bits that I own over a period of time. This auger bit has teeth on the flat on this end and safe edges. On this end it has teeth on the edges and a safe flat. So to sharpen this auger bit I need to file this area right here so I'm going to take the part with the teeth on the flat and go in there and sharpen this edge right here. You always want to sharpen inside like this. And this auger bit actually has a good design in that it won't let you change the angle too much. Quite often I see people sharpen augers with way too flat a cutting edge tends to scrape through instead of slicing. There we go. And there's a little knicker on this one too. Because this center piece starts cutting before the outer piece does. So I'm just going to touch that up a bit. There we go. A little bit more. Got the knicker sharp. Cutting edge is sharp. Now we'll put the blade in it and set the blade.
just to keep my files in good shape, I tuck them inside a soda straw. That way they don't clank against each other and I can keep them around a lot longer. Oops, me lock here again. Thanks for watching. Have you subscribed yet? If you enjoyed the video, please take a moment and click the thumbs up.